Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 200 in the series of basic math. Today we'll have our last video in the series of 15 on the topic of work time problems. Work time problems, 15th on the series of 15. Problem, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. We are told that we have two robots, robot A and robot B. We are told that A can assemble 300 parts in 4 hours, B can assemble 800 parts in 6 hours working by himself. Question simply is, approximately how long will it take them working together? Approximately how long will it take them working together to assemble 40,000 parts? It's important to pay attention. It's important to pay attention to the fact they are looking for an approximate answer. We don't have to do exact calculation. Let's get going, shall we? So here's our A. What do we know about A? A we can know that he can do 300 in 4 hours. B we are told does 800 in 6 hours. 800 in 6 hours. A does 300 in 4 hours. Well we have two choices here. We have two choices as to how we can go about it. One choice is more of a traditional way, orthodox way, the classical way, the conventional way, the geeky way, the nerdy way, the academic way, which is to figure out how many parts they each assemble in one hour. We could do that, but as you can clearly see, dividing 400, 300 by 4, is, it takes some time. Similarly, if you divide 800 by 6, you can clearly see that it's not going to be evenly divisible by, it's not going to be evenly divisible by 6. It's going to be a messy calculation. It's going to be very messy. It's not going to be clean. Another option is to either convert this four hours into six hours or convert this six hours into four hours. Now, if you try to convert this four hours into four, uh, this six hours into four hours, then what you have to understand is that what we have to understand is that six is equal to two third, two third, or rather, if you try to convert this six into four, if you if you ask if you want to figure out how many parts how many parts B can produce in four hours, then you have to understand that four is two-thirds of six. Figuring out two-thirds of 800, figuring out two-thirds of 800, it's not going to be a nice round number. Are you able to see that? So let's not worry about how many parts B can produce in four hours. Instead of asking how many parts B can produce in four hours, let's ask how many parts A can produce in six hours. Let's go that route. Well, that's very easy because A does 300 in 4 hours. If he does 300 in 4 hours, that means he should be able to do 150 in 2 hours. Very simple, very straightforward. If he does 150 in 2 hours, 300 in 4 hours, that tells us that he can do 450 in 4 plus 2, which is 6 hours. There we go. Now we have 450 here, 800 here, 400 plus 800 is 1250 in 6 hours. Working together they can produce 1250 in 6 hours. The rest is downhill. The rest is very simple, very straightforward because now it's a straightforward, simple, ordinary ratio and proportion problem. Another ratio and rather proportion problem is what I'm interested. Let's set it up as a proportion problem. Here we have the hours, here we have the units. We know that if you give them 6 hours Working together, this guy is going to produce 450, this guy is going to produce 800. I'm just putting it here so that you can see where the numbers are coming from. 450 plus 800 is 1250. So, if you give them 6 hours, if you give them 6 hours, they can produce 12, 1250. Question is, how long will it take them? How long will it take them to produce 40,000 units? That's what it is. All we have to do is solve this equation and we are done. Let's do it on the top. So, x over 40,000, x over 40,000 equals 6 over 1250 which tells us that x has to equal, which implies that x has to equal 6 times 40,000. Cross multiply it, 6 times 40,000. We're going to write 40,000 as 40 times 1,000. Why do we write 40 as 
why do we write 40,000 as 40 times 1,000? Because eventually we're going to have to reduce it. We're going to reduce this whole amount. It will be much easier to deal with either a 40 or a 1,000 as opposed to dealing with 40,000 together. We will have to do less work that way. Over 250. Are you still with me in this story? Very good. We see 1250 at the bottom, not 250 rather, 1250 at the bottom, we see 1000 on the top. Let's, re let's, let's reduce it, let's divide top and bottom by what? There was a reason why we wrote this down as 1000. I hope that you're able to see that 1000 is simply, 1000 is simply 250 times 4. 250 times 4 is 1000. If you add another 250 to it, if you add another 150, if you add another 250 to 1000, you get 1250. Let's divide top and bottom by 250. 1000 is made up of 4 to 50, 1250 is made up of 5 to 50. We see, five on the, we see 5 on the bottom, we see 40 on the top. Let's divide top and bottom by 5, 40 becomes 8. So we have 6 times 8, 6 times 8 is 48, times 4, times 4, 48 times 4. We know, we know 50 times 4 is 200. If 50 times 4, 4 is 200, then this amount is less than 200. Therefore, the closest answer that we can find is A. It's not going to be approximately 240. It's approximately 200. It's 48 times 4. 50 times 4 is 200. 48 times 248 is 2 less than 50. It's 192. You subtract 4 2's from it. Do you understand? 192. This answer is, one, the answer is 200. Tomorrow, listen carefully please. Tomorrow, We'll begin our third series from day number 201. Our first series, you'll in, the, in, in, in our first series on basic math, you will find it on my channel from day number one through 100. Our second series was from day number 101 through 200. We just finished it. That was our end of the second series. We're starting tomorrow, we'll begin our third series from day number 201. The first two topics that I intend to cover as of right now are Venn diagrams and permutations and combinations. Permutations and combinations is an area that a lot of people have trouble with. If you happen to be one of those people, make sure you watch the third series beginning with day number 201. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.